different techniques for gluing your um, foam together. Uh, the first one is one that I used on my iMac suit and it's the one that most people use and that's hot glue. There's not really much of a, a technique to it, um, but there are a few pointers that, that'll help you along the way. Um, when you're using hot glue, it gets messy real fast um, just because most hot glue guns tend to um, seep a little bit at the end. So make sure you've got a, a working surface that you don't mind getting hot glue on. Um, probably just best to use some old cardboard or something. Um, when you join your pieces together, you don't want to use too much hot glue, um, otherwise it will start seeping out the edges. Um, so just um, put a little bit uh, along the edge that you want to glue. Uh, you can use the nozzle just to spread it out a bit. Um, when you join the pieces together, do it nice and quickly and join them from the show side first and then push the pieces together like that. And that then means that any, where any glue that seeps out, seeps out the back, not out the front where the show side is. So you're probably gonna need to hold it together for um, 10 seconds or so before it takes a bind. If you do get any glue that seeps out of the um, front side, um, you can just quickly wipe your finger along it whilst it's still um, hot before it's set. And that means that you won't get any bubbles or anything forming like that. Um, before you do move on to the next part that you're gonna join, um, you probably want to make sure that the uh, previous part is fully set because whilst it does um, set reasonably firmly quite quickly, uh, it probably takes about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, particularly if you put a lot of hot glue on, um, to reach its full hardness. So um, that's really all there is to hot gluing. Uh, it forms a pretty strong bond. Uh, it's more likely to rip the foam than it is to rip the glue. The uh, downsides to it are that um, you do get, um, particularly where pieces are under stress, you do get some gaps showing and um, you, you also risk in, in pretty hot climates or hot temperatures, you risk the glue softening and your parts um, pieces on you, which would not be great. And I can't say that's happened to me and I've worn my arm out so in some pretty hot days, but um, maybe if you're in a different part of the world or uh, near the equator then it might be a, a, a something to bear in mind. Um, the, the, the next method I'll show you is using super glue. Now I, I was put onto this method by a, a friend of mine um, who had, had tried it out and said it was great and I have to say I was a little bit dubious at first but um, since I've, I've used it I've become a convert so you just want to put enough super glue on to, um, to wet the area that you're using. Um, using the same techniques as before, push your two pieces together. Um, it doesn't really matter if a little bit of hot glue bubbles out, you can just wipe it with your finger. Um, be careful what you do with that finger again afterwards. Uh, you don't want it sticking to another one of your fingers. Uh, what you'll notice is as you're pushing the pieces together, the super glue will bubble a little bit. You might even see a little bit of smoke every now and then. That's fine, it's normal. I uh, probably don't want to breathe in too much of it. Um, once those pieces are glued, they are stuck solid. Um, this is much better than hot glue, I think. Uh, it's faster. You don't have to wait for the glue to set. It reaches full strength in probably 10 seconds. Uh, it reaches a strength where the pieces will stay together probably in about five seconds. And there's no risk of the pieces coming apart when it gets hot. Um, you get a really good seam um, that doesn't tend to um, pull apart when it's stressed, like it does with hot glue. Uh, disadvantage, you can't really reposition the pieces again with hot glue. If you really make a mistake, you can um, use the hot glue gun nozzle to sort of pry into the gap and, and soften up the glue again to get the pieces apart and reposition it. Um, with super glue, you push them together, they're, they're stuck for good. Um, they're never going to come apart again. In fact, what I'll do is I'll show you what happens when you try to pull apart these two different pieces. Um, I'll start with the, uh, the hot glue one just so you can see how strong a bond it makes. So if I try and pull apart the hot glue, um, you can actually see that it's, um, it's actually pulled the foam apart, not where the hot glue is, it's pulled the foam off this other piece of foam. Um, this is the super glue piece, I'll try and pull that apart for you. 
you can see how much harder that was to um, separate. Again, it's it's damaged the foam, it hasn't um, pulled the joint, so you, you're really gonna um, you're really gonna struggle to break a piece if you stuck it together with super glue. So I think from now on I will be signing the glue gun under the bench and I'll be using super glue. That's only two dollars for a pack of six of these tubes, so it probably works out about the same price as glue sticks anyway. Awesome.